Hello everyone, my name is Natalia Ljaško. It's time for English lesson. Let's start. So today is the final lesson in our topic transport. Let's revise everything that we've learned. Let's start. First of all, let's check our homework. Last time I asked you to find five mistakes in the text. So let's go one by one. So the first one, have you ever saw a game of cricket? Is there a mistake? Yes, well done. So we can't use the verb saw because this is the past simple and here we have present perfect tense. So the correct answer is going to be good, seen. Let's move on. A lot of people have tell me that it's really boring. Have tell me. Is it correct? No, it's not. So, present perfect tense again. Which verb should we use? Told. Bravo. Let's move on. But I completely disagree. So the next sentence. I've yet returned from a game between England and India. So, I've yet returned. Is it okay? No, it's not. So, the correct adverb is going to be already. I have already returned or I have just returned. This is also possible. Let's move on. One more mistake. So, let's look at it. In fact, we've already buy tickets for tomorrow. Is it okay? We've already buy. No, it's not. Again, the past participle for present perfect tense for the verb buy is bought. Correct. And after all, the game hasn't finished ever. What is the mistake here? Ever is not good. So we need to use yet. And the correct is going to be after all, the game hasn't finished yet. So five mistakes are here. I'm sure that you found them all. So let's continue. Have a look at the verbs, means of transport. Quickly remember as many as possible or revise them. One, two, three, four, five. No picture. Okay. So there is a task for you. I'm going to put the letter on the board and we are going to brainstorm the words that start with the same letter. And we're going to use means of transport. So let's start. Let's start with letter C. So letter C. Which means of transport starts with the same letter? The first one that comes to your mind, for me, it's car. Let's go. Car. What else? Coach. So you take your notebook and write with me. If you have different words, then we'll find together and check together. So the next one that starts with C. Cable car. Anything else? So, car, coach, cable car. What else? We talked about Egypt, remember? So the possible means of transport for Egypt can be a camel. Probably you know your own words and you can finish the spidergram. Let's go with a different letter. Let's go with T. So, means of transport that start with T. For me, the first word is taxi. What else? Train. The favorite word of one of our students, tram. What else? Very popular in all big cities. Trolley bus. Anything else? Hmm. Tram, taxi, train, trolley bus. 
structure. And it's announced that starts with T. If you have more words, finish the spidergram. Let's go with a different letter. There is going to be M. With M, for me, motorcycle. Motorbike is also possible, so let's write it down. What else? We have metro, remember? Well done. If you have anything else, just add them to your spidergram with M. Let's go. I have S. What starts with S? Let's revise. So, school bus. What else? Very popular for Italy, remember? Scooter. What else? We can't see it. It's usually underwater. Yes, submarine. Anything else that starts with S? Hmm. I don't remember. If you remember, write down the words. And let's finish with H. So, not many words start with H if we talk about means of transport. But let's try. The first word that comes to my mind is helicopter. Helicopter. What else? Hmm, the board that can be used as a house. So we call it a houseboard. Good. So we revised almost all the words. So I have letter B. I'm not going to put it on the board. But quickly brainstorm the words that start with B. Board, bike, bicycle. What else? Bus. Anything else? Quickly write the word down. And let's have a look at the words again. So we have train, police car, coach, camel, taxi, plane. As you see, we have a lot of letters. So at home, after the lesson, you can continue practice. You just take one letter and write the words that start with the same letter. This is a very nice revision, especially before the test. So let's move on. Have a look. We have three groups of uh, words. Drive, fly, ride. And we have means of transport, bicycle, coach, car, tram, motorbike, van, taxi, helicopter, scooter and plane. What is a new word here? Yes, when. So we didn't use it before. Van. Van is a big car and it looks like a minibus. So let's have a look at these three groups. What can we drive, what can we fly, and what can we ride? Let's start with drive. Can we drive a bicycle? Hmm, unfortunately we ride a bicycle. So, we can drive a coach, we can drive a car, we can drive a taxi and a van. So, let's check together. Look, coach, car, tram, van and taxi. And I would ask you to repeat after me in a sentence. I can drive a coach. Repeat. I can drive a car. I can drive a van. Well done. Let's move on with the second group. Fly. What can we fly? Can we fly a scooter? Probably not. So, a helicopter, 
What else? A plane. Well done. So, you can say, I can fly a helicopter or we can fly a helicopter and we can fly a plane. If you can't, what do you say? I can't fly a helicopter or a plane. Well done. And the third category is easy. Right, so what do we write? A bicycle, a motorbike and a scooter. Now, let's say what can you drive or ride or fly and what you can't. For example, for me, I can drive a car and a taxi and a van, but I can't fly a helicopter or a plane. At the same time, I can ride a bicycle, but I can't ride a motorbike or a scooter. What about you? Say your sentence. Can or can't? Well done. Let's move on. Can? So you can say I can and I can't. And I have two markers for you. The red one with I can't and the blue one with I can. So if I point to you the blue one, you say I can drive a car, for example, or I can ride a bicycle. So quickly, tell me a sentence. Say it to me. I can drive a car or I can ride a bike. Well done. Now let's practice with I can't. I can't fly a plane. Well done. Or I can't drive a coach or I can't drive a car. Well done. So let's practice one more time. Good. Well done, let's move on. So have a look, we have three places. Again, three groups and means of transport. We have land, air and sea. So what can we see, for example, on the land, on the surface, na um, Can we see a helicopter? Well, you can. But usually the helicopter flies in the air. And can you see a scooter at the sea? Hmm, no. You see the scooter on the land. So let's group the words land, air and sea. I give you 10 seconds, write the words down. Okay, ready to check? Let's start with the land. So, uh, on the land we can see a coach, a bus, a car, a taxi, a van, an underground or a metro, bicycle, motorbike, a scooter, a tram and a train. So, in the air we can see a plane and a helicopter. And at the sea, we can see a boat and a ship. Now let's practice with the prepositions as well. So have a look. We say on the land. Repeat, please. On the land. And faster. On the land. And faster. On the land. Bravo. With air. What do we say? In the air. So let's go. In the air. And again in the air and the last one in the air and the third group sea so at the sea repeat after me at the sea and again at the sea and one more time at the sea bravo now let's practice with the sentences so i have seen means of transport and you use the surface Oh, I haven't seen. So, let's go. For example, 
I have seen a bus on the land. This is a good example. Or you can say, I haven't seen a helicopter in the air. Let's go with another example. I have seen a boat at the sea, a small boat. But I haven't seen a sheep at the sea, a big sheep. Let's go. Um, I have seen a bicycle on the land, but I haven't seen the plane in the air. So let's practice with these sentences. We have green and purple color. So green, I have seen. Purple, I haven't seen. Ready to practice? Let's go. Green one, I have seen. I have seen a taxi on the land. Good. Purple one, I haven't seen. I haven't seen a helicopter in the air. Well done, let's try again. Good. Good. So, and the last time, I have seen a scooter on the land. And I haven't seen a scooter on the land. Bravo, thank you very much. So, let's play a game, knots and crosses game. Today you are going to play with me, so you will tell me all the sentences. Or later you can play with your friend or with your family. Let's try. So, revise the means of transport and I'm going to clean the board. So, let's go. For knots and crossets, we need nine spaces. Let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six. Help me. Nine. Good. And we are going to practice present perfect sentences. Positive, negative, and a question. If I ask you to make up a positive sentence, I have seen a car or she has seen a car. Good. Negative one, I haven't seen a car or she hasn't seen a car. And the question is going to be with you. Have you seen a car? Has she seen a car? Well done. And we'll use the land, the air and the sea. So help me with the preposition. The land, on. On the land. The next one with air. What was? Which preposition we used with the air? In the air. Good. And then the last one, sea. What do we use with the sea? At the sea. So let's go. Knots and crosses. I'm going to be a knot and you're going to be a cross. So if I want to put my cross here, I need to say a sentence, positive sentence, using present perfect tense and say the word on the land. For example, positive on the land. Hmm, I have seen a scooter on the land. Possible? Possible. Or she has seen a taxi on the land. This is correct. So, let's go. I'm gonna be your marker today. So let's start, crosses always start, and I want you to put a cross here. Give me a sentence. Negative with in the air. So, I haven't seen a taxi in the air. Is this correct? Good. So you've got your cross. Now it's my turn. I'm going to put the note here, positive, with at the sea. Hmm, I have seen a sheep at the sea. Is this correct? Good. Now, I want you to put a cross here. This is going to be a question with on the land. Help me. Have you seen a plane on the land? And let's try with the question intonation. Have you seen a plane on the land? 
correct. Now, hmm, I'm going to put my note here, positive, with on the land. She has seen a van on the land. Correct? Good. So you will immediately tell me, Natalia, we want our cross here, right? Let's do it. Positive with in the air. Um, I'm sure that your example is something like, I have seen a plane in the air. Correct? Good. So, um, let's put it here, my note. So, um, have you seen a helicopter in the air? Good. And let's finish with the sentences. So negative with on the land. She hasn't seen a metro on the land. Good. And I'm going to put my note here. So, have you seen a boat at the sea? Again, have you seen a boat at the sea? And your last cross is going to be here, negative with at the sea. Help me. I haven't seen a scooter at the sea. Good. And this means that you are the winner. My congratulations. A round of applause to you. Let's continue. There is a task for you. Have a look. I have sentences and you need to use adverbs of frequency. How often do you do things? And the adjectives in the list to write sentences about various means of transport. First of all, let's have a look at the adjectives. Noisy, szumny, safe, bezpieczny, boring, nudny, tiring, wysnażliwy, expensive, Dorohi, fast, szwytki, comfortable, zruczny, cheap, deszewy, relaxing, rozslablujący, slow, powilny, and dangerous, niebezpieczny. So, different means of transport can be different, like here in the examples. Like, I think traveling by train is tiring because you spend a lot of time on the train. Or let's have a look at one more example. I often travel by bus because it's cheap, it's not expensive. So let's revise adverbs of frequency. Often, then we have usually, sometimes, never, nikoli, uh, always, zavždy. So let's focus on this. Let's go with the verb boring. What can be boring? For me, boring is traveling by a trolley bus. It's so slow. So let's write a sentence about this. And you use the adverb of frequency first. So, um, I never travel by trolley bus. I never travel by trolley bus and I think it's boring. I think it's boring. Let's, uh, let's try a different example. Comfortable. What can be comfortable? For me, my car is very comfortable. I like traveling by car. I always travel by car. I think it's very comfortable. Let's try. I always travel by car. I think it's very comfortable. 
So, and the last example. Hmm. Let's take the word slow. What can be slow? I think a scooter or a bike. Let's go with the word scooter. So, um, I never travel by scooter because I think it's very slow. Let's write it down. I never travel by scooter. I think it's slow. So your home task is going to be to write the sentences using all the adjectives. And I hear the bell ringing, so unfortunately we need to stop the lesson. Thank you very much and enjoy your next topic. Bye!